Welcome back to Crypto Zombies. We're in Chapter 6, Arrays. When you want a collection of something, you can use an array. There are two types of arrays in Solidity, Fixed Arrays and Dynamic Arrays. Here's an array with a fixed length of two elements. First, we specify the type. This is uint. It's going to have a fixed length of two elements, and we named it Fixed Array. So another fixed array, this one can contain five strings because we specify here string type and we named it string array. Down here's a dynamic array, has no fixed size, which means it could keep growing. It's uint, and then we don't specify no number within the square brackets, and we named it dynamic array. You can also create an array of structs using the previous chapter's person struct. So we're using our person struct here, and we're creating an array of person structs. We named it people. This is a dynamic array, which means we can keep adding to it. Remember that state variables are stored permanently in the blockchain. So creating a dynamic array of structs like this can be useful for storing structured data in your contract, like a database. Public arrays. You can declare an array as public, and Solidity will automatically create a getter method for it. The syntax looks like this. Person array called people, and we are making it a public array. Other contracts would then be able to read but not write to this array. So this is a useful pattern for storing public data in your contract. Let's put it to the test. We're going to want to store an army of zombies in our app and we're going to want to show off all our zombies to other apps. So we'll want it to be public. Create a public array of zombie structs and name it zombies. So here we're going to do basically similar to what they did here, except we're going to say instead of person, it's going to be zombie. And it's an array, public, and we're naming it zombies. This, this will basically create a zombies array, which is dynamic, which means we could add as many as we want. Let's check our answer. We did pass. So the important thing about arrays, I mean, they're very similar to other programming languages. They let us like make a list. So here we learned we can make an array of a specific length, or we could create a dynamic array, which means that we can just keep adding to it. As long as you guys understand that, you guys are getting the hang of this. That was arrays on crypto zombies i'll see you guys in the next lesson make sure to share like subscribe if you found this video helpful peace out